my beautiful Sagittarius. So how deep is your love for me? Tell me what it's going to be, baby. Let's get up into this reading. Like I'm going to do two different piles. This is if you're in a relationship and this is if you're single. All right. So the ones that are in a relationship, how deep is your love for me? You are going to be in a situation where in your connection, your partner is going to be testing you. And what they're testing you is because they want to know how deep is your love for them. They may feel as if you, you've been really reserved or really withdrawn. And some of you, if you have been arguing, oop, <laughs> you <laughs> they could feel like the relationship is falling apart. If you um, argue with them, and, and during the time of arguing, you could have said things to them. It's like in their head. They want to know, are you are you with them just out of convenience or do you really, really love them? So they're going to be testing your love, which might really annoy you. But it's important if you come to this reading to see like exactly where they're coming from. This is the reason why they're doing it. They just want to know if you love them. They just don't feel as connected to you as they used to. And the voice and tone that you use with them could be like affecting how they think you feel about them. So they're going to test you this week. Um, and you could just be stressed out. I feel like you're stressed out because your mind is going to be on the future. You are trying to manifest more wealth. You want to feel more stable when it comes to the, the money that you make and paying all your bills and having enough money to like take care of like the children and do the fun things that you want to do for yourself. So even if you're in a relationship, what's going to be happening or what's going to be tested, you can even be in a place where you're going through a growth. Like the, the, the most difficult part of a relationship is when you two are growing at different times. So you could be going through in a spiritual awakening because you're going through your own awakening. It can make you want to isolate from your partner more, which means you're investing more time to yourself. You just need to think clear. You just need to you just need to get your mind right. And, and your person may not understand that, especially if they're going through financial issues and they try to lean on you for love and strength. You are kind of withdrawn because you need your own self right now. So and you need to think and you need to see clear and, you know, you can have if you have children, your children can be very demanding on you and it can be very overwhelming. So this is where your relationship is going to be at. And you are manifesting and you do want more. You can even be trying to manifest a, a vacation like you want to go away you just want to do something with just the two of you. But finances right now is is not working in your favor the way that you want it to. Um, and if you do have your own business, you could be excited because biz money money comes in, but then it starts to slow up. And when it starts to slow up, you get afraid of like, how can we get more money? What else do we need to do to, to get more money in this household? Um, if you are single... You can be having a lot of fun dating, but you may also come to a place where you feel a little discouraged. Now, this is a funny situation for you singles. You could be seeing somebody, um, but you just don't know if you like them the way you, you used to like them. You know, you could feel as if sexually they're not pleasing you the way that you want to be pleased and you don't know if you're just dealing with this person because you don't want to be alone or is it like you were dating this person you were at the honeymoon phase and they just seemed like your ideal person and now that the honeymoon phase is dying down you just don't even know if you want them anymore so there can be some confusion if you are single but you have like a situation ship that could be on and off some of you two could be dating online um, and wondering if you should just take down your profile and stick to yourself and fast and, and meditate in hopes that you can attract them better. 
like I feel like it's exciting to you at the beginning when you first meet them. But then as things gradually start to move forward, you start to see flaws in people and then you get really discouraged. All right. So let me pull some cards now. You can also be wondering, like, when is my time going to come? I'm so tired of being stuck in this like this cycle of getting excited and getting my hopes up and thinking I found somebody, but then we don't share the same values or they become too intimidated by me. You could be a Sagittarius that people are very intimidated by you because you're very independent. You're very, very independent. And you can also be a little bit dominant at times and that can threaten people who are a little bit more insecure or, you know, like, you, you are very, very attractive, but the thing with you, people may feel like you are out of their league. So for what you want and from what you're healing through, it seems like your love life is taking longer than you would like it to, to take off or for you to like meet the person that you can see yourself being with for a very, very long time. Um, you feel like nothing really like sticks. And if you do have an ex and you think about them sometime, it's because they are spying on you. They want to know what you've been up to. They want to know if you've moved on. They want to know, are you happy? Because they're not happy. So they're wondering if you're happy. All right. Some of you are going to be cleaning a lot and you're cleaning a lot in order for you to like try to take your mind off of things because you're going to be thinking a lot about your love life. So let's get into it. Singles. Yeah. So lusting. You're in a, a connection that this person is giving you mixed signals or you just feel really conflicted about it. Like you don't know, like this person can be hot and cold to you or you can be hot and cold to them. They can find you to be mysterious or you can find them to be mysterious. Can I be honest with you as well? You both can feel the same way about each other. You both can feel like each other is mysterious. You both can feel conflicted about each other. But one thing that you may have in common is like in the beginning, the sex was real good. You just don't think it's going to be enough to build a, a secure foundation. It needs to be more than just lusting and attraction. And this is what making you scared. Like, is it time for me to start looking elsewhere? Let me see. And and if you're in a relationship, your person feels like they pay most of the bills, like they pay most of the bills. Or if you ask them to take care of things, they take care of things for you. So they don't they don't see like they're looking at themselves and saying, like, well, I'm attractive. I, I try to be there for you. I try to take care and pay for what you need me to take like care of. So it's like, what else do you need? Like this person can be looking for your approval, especially if you withdrawn, it can make them feel scared because if they had a failed relationship in the past, the worst thing is for them to have another ending. So this person does not want to lose you. They don't want another ending and they could be paranoid about that. It's like they want to prove to themselves that they can be the, the man that a woman needs. All right. So. Let me see. Yeah, there's going to be peace restored and balance restored in your connection. It shows commitment. Of course, you're committed. Of course, you're committed. This is the committed pile. Um, and once again, with possibilities and adventures, I feel like you two are looking at, at vacations, trips that you want to take around the world or things that you can do for fun to bring some balance back into your connection. You know? Yeah. So you're going to be in a place where you're gaining a new perspective just about your life. I just, what you're going through, I, you know, I don't feel like it has to do with them per se. I just feel like it has to do with you as an individual. Like you're going through your own changes 
And sometimes you need to switch things up. You don't like routine. Some of you can even be working on a, a diet plan and you can be upset because it's hard for you to stick to a diet. Maybe you can be feeling insecure about your weight. You know, like little things you want to do for you. I don't really think it has much to do with them. But if you're withdrawing, it's going to make them feel some type of way, you know. So they just don't want you to leave them behind. That's all. Let me see what else is going on. Let's look at the overall energy for Sagittarius in general. Yeah, your dreams need a practical plan. So if you do see meditation contemplation, I'm telling you, you're going to be in a place, single or not. If you're single, if you're in a relationship, Sagittarius overall, you're going to be in a place where you're really thinking about your, your future and your plans and you trying to come up with an idea of how can I save more money? How can I make more money? You're going to be contemplating on what's the best move to make. You know, you don't want to take a risk that's going to leave you financially bankrupt. So you want to make smart decisions in order to move forward with your life. You just want more. You want things to work out. You want to be financially free. You don't want it to be where you have these ebbs and flows where you have all this money and everything's okay and then there's a money drought and you're you're fearful and you have a scarcity mindset. So you're really going to be in your head and thinking about like, how can I make my dreams come true? If you're single, what do I need to do in order to attract the love of my life? You know, if you're if you're in a relationship, I'm telling you what you're going through it has nothing to do with your partner and more to do with you and your personal well-being and your finances and just like the future overall for your family. You think about everybody and yourself. So that's that's where you're going to be at for this week. And spirit wants you to know, like, confidence is your key to success. You need to believe in yourself more more confidence for you to go after the things that scare you because you have a lot of different ideas but two things that are happening with you side Sagittarius some of you have too many different ideas and you don't know where to put your energy into it's a few things you can see like you can talk about this like oh maybe if we put money into real estate and then I could do this but then you may have a new idea like well what if I write a book and then I can get money off of a book and then you, oh well, what if I start to do this like you have so many different ideas that you you don't know which one to stick with so with meditation and contemplation if you find one thing that you're really excited about and put all your energy into it and then move on to the next or which one is the easiest thing for you to complete first like so if it's a book then if the book is the easiest thing that you know you can write right now then then stick with the book until you complete it and you know if it's um real estate and you know that you can get a re your real estate license and start quicker then start with real estate. And then when you get your foot in that door, then use your downtime to write and work on your book. It just looks like you just need a little bit more planning and more confidence because you can do it. You have everything within you to do it. You just need to know that you can do it. <laughs> All right. So let me see more. Ooh, ooh. Why, did, why am I proud? Why I look like that? I got cut the deck the deck and it looked weird some of you two could be writing a wish list like you could be uh writing down or switching things up when it comes to like your manifestation of what you want in a partner like you could have thought you wanted one thing but then you're going to see like okay let me write it down because I I heard that if you write down everything that you want in a partner it will manifest and come true so let me go back to my list and reinvent my future partner So, yeah, you're going to you're going to meet somebody new. You're going to have a, a passionate new beginning. It could be with somebody that that you already were dealing with and you just didn't know what you wanted. Or it can be somebody completely new that's going to want to work with you. And for you, you're going to be spending some time to yourself. 
you're going to be spending some time to yourself. And if you felt like emotionally unfulfilled, just in your life, it's coming to an end. You know, you feeling emotionally, you feeling emotionally um, conflicted or just feeling like you're tired of routine. You're just bored, bored in your life and a little emotionally closed off. You're going to get more balance. All right. And you're going to be communicating to your partner because your your partner feels really confused about you and what's going on with you and what what exactly do you need? How can they help you? How can they be there for you? Some of you stepmom, you could you could help this person if they have children. Somebody can have children and. And just overall, Sagittarius, you have a lot of people that are envious of you. There's a lot of people that just watch you and just feel so envious of you. They just feel like you are so perfect. And if they even like, suppose you say like, oh, I'm starting a new business. And then other people around you say, oh, that's such a good idea. Let me try and start a new business too. Things don't turn out the way that that is turning out for you. So they start to become a little more distant and they're becoming distant because as you go up and they go down, they start to resent you. Like there's a cornucopia of blessings coming for you. So as much as you may feel lost, a lot of people see you as having it together. You know, I feel like you really don't care about the outside world the way you used to because you're just like, you know what? I can't please everybody. I just it's impossible for me to please people. So why not just work on what's in my control? You're going to start to feel that way. Like I do not have the power to make people happy. Like some people, no matter what I do, are just going to be miserable. So you're just going to start to leave people to themselves and just focus on what you want out of your life. You're going to start to really get deep with yourself in this reflection. Like life is short. You know, you, you've been, been trying to help people the best way that you can. But no matter what you do, people just sabotage themselves. And honestly, it's not your problem. So you're going to be really big about using your time and energy to invest in yourself in order for you to maximize your potential and get to where you want to be in your life. You know, it's like it's an inside job. Um, and people people take your 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 you for granted anyway. You know, like when you get on top or when you start to achieve things that you told people, they're not they're not clapping for you. Those same people that you be trying to help when they see you, you know, overcoming things, they, they're not clapping for you. It's like they're looking at you and rolling their eyes because like, why you, you know, so you're going to start to notice that some of you, it may be time for you to like get new friends, like friends who are supportive of you, encouraging of you. And some of you Sagittarius can struggle with friends because it's like you, you get people that become very jealous of you. And obsessed with you and envious of you and mixed motions about you one minute they like you but then when they get around you your light is shining so bright that they feel small in comparison to you or uncomfortable and they really don't know why and it's probably because they're they're not um awakened to the truth so you're, you're going to struggle, but I feel like you have a soul tribe that's about to come. I feel it. I feel your soul tribe coming towards you. So if, if this conspiracy says you're getting more clear on what it is that you need and that you want, you're getting real, real clear about what you need, what you want and what you don't want. And, um, some people too could be upset. Like you don't like mixing business with pleasure. Some people can be upset because they feel like, because you got put onto certain opportunities that you would put them on too. And you feel like, no. Like, I'm not doing that because God forbid it doesn't work out. I just don't want it to fall on me. So you play your cards real, real smart. People find you to be also really, really smart and fun to be around. But it's like they can't keep up with you. Let me for work. Yeah, you ooh, you have a you have a rebirth in worth <laughs> worth. I, ooh, let's keep it right. You have a rebirth in your worth. Like you could be working on your mindset in order to give you the confidence. Some of you could have been functioning out of your lower self. When you're in your lower self, you have a lot of fears, a lot of doubts, a lot of insecurities that block and limit you to opportunities. Now with you, you're going to have more faith, more blind faith to go after the things that you want. You're going to have a new vision 
Some of you even like redoing your website or remodeling certain things in your in your business. If you work at a desk, I see you like clearing your desk and putting up new things in, in your in your office space. You just have a brand new vision. You have new energy that's coming into your finances. All right. I'm going on to the extended in the extended. I will do a full spread for you singles and a full spread for you that are in a relationship as well as more work messages. Um, Spirit wants you get comfortable with this new version of you. It don't matter who don't like it. Get very comfortable with this new version of you because what you don't understand is for this new version and for things to stick, you're going to need new people, new people who complement this, this new version of you and to help you. And so you guys can feed off of ideas with each other and, and support each other in order for you to keep growing. So network is the best work. <laughs> I send you love and light.